some sound effects. Hello and welcome to Daz Radio. It might sound a lot like Nintendo Radio, but I swear it's not, because there's a lot more songs that aren't radio related, because I made it. I didn't make it, I just have them all collected on my iTunes, excuse me. Either way, this was all just one big audio test. I sound nice and loud, the stream is very nice and loud. Thank you for joining us so early, Mario time. I need to continue setting up. And somehow I was able to say all that without being distracted by the fact that I could hear all of that going through my ears again, like with a two second delay. Go me. Don't know why the voice is off, I should probably turn it off. Shouldn't do that too much, because that's what destroyed the mic last time. Standing on the couch. Oh, hello, Sorcerer Mateo. I, I remember you saying I said it wrong before. Sorcerer, Sorcerer Mateo? Mateo? Mateo, it's probably Mateo. I'm not sure if you ever explained it. Maybe you did. I apologize if I missed it. I still need to do some social media, but at least I turned on my lights now. I think? Well, this is from t some TV show. Da, 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 da. That's Assassin's Creed. I don't know. I'll, it's probably okay to use. It'll be copyrighted in some form, but at least it's not a YouTuber that used it. So I'll let this song play. It's all part of Daz Radio. Very much all copyrighted. Excuse me. Um, okay. I should have this good. That's the image we need. Um... What do I say this time? Day two of this game. Um, these last five hours will decide if I continue onwards. Right. Come join. <laughs> With a, the full stop to make it a little more ominous. So that people have to show up. Um. That is, again, the dashboard link, which is not what we need. There we go. How are people doing? Mateo. Oh, I never even thought of not saying May. It's Ma. Mateo. I've heard that as a name before. I apologize, Sorcerer Mateo. Oh, well, hopefully I'll remember that in the future. I am dumb, so we'll see. Um, also, if you were here last stream, or you just know how I write my titles, you may have noticed the title in this one says five plus hours, not six plus hours. There is a point to that, and that's that I'll be streaming five hours a day. What a surprise. Um, mostly because I w could do with having, so it's six o'clock in the afternoon now, and I would like to stop at 11 so I can sort out some real life things. Not only do I need to sort out some footage for my next video, something just ran somehow my wire around me started moving next to me, um, but also I'll be picking up Kerry from, um, her work because she's been away at home this whole time and she's going straight from home home to work and then she's she's expecting to come in halfway through the stream she might have even popped into the stream and I've spoiled it all to her now whatever I know but either way I want to I want to catch her there while I still can so this stream will be finishing off an hour earlier than usual we'll probably go back to six hours after that if we continue to play the game what is this song oh this is a remix of Undertale that's someone's pride and joy I must skip Cool, great for my own personal enjoyment, but I won't take someone else's content. Excuse me. How is? I'll take an official composer's content, not a YouTuber's content. You know, I'm only half corrupt. Let's have some training music, shall we? Uh, day two of this game. These last five hours, five hours onwards. I'm joining. Cool. That sounds good to me. That is posted on Daz Reviews. 
and I'll do one for Daz Let's Plays. Just to be nice and simple. This music is suddenly a lot more chill than I thought it was. Oh, I also need to upload these on Daz Let's Plays. I'll get to it. Um, do we need shells? So, for the people that are still here, sti or still here, you, you've been here not very long, whatever. Um, what are your experiences with this game? Because obviously I have mine being quite clear in the fact that I've never played this, nor any other Dragon Quest game, hence why I'm starting it. What about everyone else? What's going on? You know? have to know okay that's all sorted we've got our drinks we've got our lights I need to change the screen in just a second and I need to turn it on on my actual switch oh also well uh, let me switch screens first shall I and I need to turn off the music to do that okay do that one first have that open and then I will turn off the music and then we'll switch screens that's the plan and not destroy the mic as we do so if possible Lovely, and this is the button we need. We've gone right into the opening little cutscene thing. Hello! I believe I should still be audible. The Let's see how loud that is. I also need to turn off the echo because my TV's very loud, so give me a sec on that, but... Sounds audible on every other front, but I will be very loud anyway. Why aren't you working? The batteries are just a little loose. There we go. That's much better. I do wish I could have headphones so I could actually hear it directly, but if you try and record the switch with your headphones in, it deletes all audio. And also the switch is, on the, is in the dock on the other side of the room. Oh well. We're on for an adventure. That exact same motif again. We're playing Dragon Quest XI. I keep wanting to say XI or X1 for some reason. I'm a little out of breath. Give me a moment. It's not going to give me much in a moment. Also, actually, I wanted to use this opportunity while we see what's happened so far. If you want to, you're going to speak that? Okay, good, you're not. Um, thank you to Va Voodoo Gran and Tiny Ren. Thank you for the follow in between streams. Whether that's because you saw an old archive of this first part or... Just in general found out I existed. Either way, I appreciate it a lot. Now, we played for six hours yesterday. It came out yesterday, so it makes sense. We did a lot of things, actually. We got to here. Which is, uh, to mean we unlocked the first four characters. We got ourselves, obviously. We found Eric in a prison when we went to go tell the king that we exist. The, the chosen one. We were then banished by the king and ran away. Trying to go back to our hometown as well, where he fought all oh, the whole dude, whatever. We got teleported somewhere else and found this tiny girl who happens to be the same age as this girl because these two are twins. She's been cursed in some format, and they've gone here to go and find first of all the the older one, who's the same age as the younger one, and also well, actually it might be slightly younger and older, whatever. They're still twins, and then now we're here to go and see a father that's been kidnapped. Hello, Golden Cheeseburg. I'm also looking at the chat in an entirely new format. I'm actually looking at the dashboard for once and not just all of Twitch, which is slightly strange for me. So bear with if I have any issues on that front. Search the cryptic ruins for the monsters that rob Veronica of her powers. Oh, is that what we're doing? I thought we were after the dad, but you know, that works out too. Um, is this, I wanna go this way, yes? I think so, I don't know which way I came. Did I just walk in? I don't know. This whole building feels crooked. Oh no, this is the way I came, isn't it? Or is this not the way I came? I'm a little lost. Let's find out, I guess. We have the power of doing that, by the way. Seeing the past by touching vines. I almost forgot. The Yggdrasil tree, something like that.
Karch's slow voice acting. No idea what this is, but cool. Fair enough. You came from the minion review. Ah. This is Dragon Quest XI. It's a new Dragon Quest game that came out on the Switch today. I've never played a Dragon Quest game. It's like classic JRPGs. It's very bubbly. I liked the design of it. It looks very sort of Studio Ghibli, bright and colourful fantasy. And I love bright and colourful fantasy. I think, even though I've basically never played one. We're a fairly early game. You know, we've made it to six hours in. Oh, what's the part? None shall pass without the secret word. Say the secret word. Daz repeats the word he heard in the vision. And the lock clicks open. Do I just have to... Voices can be heard on the other side of the door. Daz gingerly pushes it open. Those are... I hope those are... It's not the most fun gameplay mechanic. mechanic. You press the... You know, watch the thing and learn it already. I, I don't know. I hope they use it better. You come here and tell Jarvis that you let that lovely, juicy specimen escape. And you think an apology's gonna cut it? Ooh, this Jars. Do you crack parts? This Jars. Do like Veronica come along often? Do you have any idea what we'll have to do to nab a specimen like that again? <laughs> you knew I wanted he looks like a Monsters Inc. character. So I could earn the Lord shadows respect when he came back all my plans shattered Lord of shadows that's them they're the monsters who jumped me in the bathhouse and brought me here see that jar by the big fat one that's what he was sucking all my magic powers into I guess we'd better figure out how to get Have I got back. Link's Awakening? I do not. I didn't want to spend 50 quid on a remake. And I wanted this instead. Mm. Something newer. Veronica. I've seen all of uh, mm -hmm. Link's Awakening. Okay. Maybe we've got a long conversation first. Remake is okay, you're only in Chun 3. Fair enough. Drummer's having fun. Looks like we'll be fighting our way out of this one, whether we like it or not. Also, I've got autoplay on on the cutscenes, and it's too slow, so I'm probably going to manually click forward. Sorry, I was trying to get into that. Right, let's have our boss fight then. Jarvis and his friends draw near. Oh, well, that's lovely. There's only one way to fight this going in the end with, with you giving me my magic back. Okay, cool. Um, oh, it's still just us two. Or are they going to go automatically? I guess. Oh, that makes sense. Um, yeah, just follow orders. With fighting. That's not following orders. Is it because everyone else is too busy going to fight first? Okay, here we go. Um, we are already almost dead. Are you kidding? And we don't have an item to heal ourselves with. Come on. Really? Alright. Let's um, make one of you guys fall asleep. I'll have to check my... Yeah, okay, cool. We are getting healings on the side, which is much better. I'm going to heal myself, because I know I need that. And Veronica attacks like normal. Okay. Oh, yes, and I can run. I forgot this. What? Eric is an edgy runner boy, but okay. Right. What's the point of running in these sequences? I don't know if there is one. Uh, let's try Sizz. We just got Sizz. Jarvis' shadow. There's only one. Oh, it's all. I can do several. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Is there an actual purpose to running? Pretty sure that's still hurt. I hope someone's got a... 
I mean, the fact that I'm still able to fight gives me hope that I can do something else. Like, they can't... No, no, they can't heal me. They can't revive me. So, the... What went wrong there was I got hit by a 32 damaging attack and then something else. I am not going back to Hotto. Um, I guess autosave will do. Well, that's a, that's a good start. This is my first playthrough. Yes, Madwiz. I probably need to do some grinding or something, don't I? It just sort of jumped up at me, didn't it? Um, there are probably some things I should have upgraded from like last last session. Do I know what it is? Not a clue. These are fine because I haven't forged anything new. Maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe I need to new for, uh, forge some new things. Which would be in... I should know this. I'm not going to know this. I guess Caterpillar wants me to do stuff. Okay. Um, no. Let's have a look around. So, we can increase critical hit chance when attacking with swords, which is what we're doing right now. When wielding swords. Attack power. Um, you know, just 2%? No, let's go with plus 3 then. Yeah. And, uh, 10. Cool, okay. And that's all it will give us. Can't unuse these? No, okay. That's fine. What can I want you on knives anyway? What can you do with your knives right now? Have I got this one already? Yes, I do, okay. Um, stab the enemy in such a way that they're sometimes sent to sleep. Ooh. In uh, increased critical chance rate when attacking with knives by 2%. Attack An attack that uh, hits all enemies. That's a boomerang. Um, I'll go with sleep then. I like Eric with knives. Preferably if he's got two of them. Entirely based off of the, the opening cutscene. Okay. Um, heal all? Can I just do that in Misk? I don't know what that means. Okay. Um, I don't need the stats. I don't need that. Party talk, I could yes! do, I guess, if I wanted to. Have I played The Last of Us? I've watched it. I haven't played it because I don't have a PS whatever it came out on. Not at the time, anyway. And with play with the second part, I'll probably also just watch that. Serena and I were always same. I mean, I don't think I need it. <laughs> I don't want to read it right now. Um, other things I can do. Magic. Treasure. Nose for treasure. Allows you to find how much unacclaimed treasure is in the area. It costs nothing. Seems like there are eight pieces of treasure in this area. If you want to go for 100, 100%, I guess you can do that. That's cool. Here we go. It's the fun-sized forge that we're after. I don't know what we'll make, what we want to make, but we'll try it. Um, accessories would be good. Ooh. We can make a gold ring. What does it do? A basic band that boosts defense just a little bit. Uh, that's a lot more than a little bit, I gotta tell ya. But we don't have any of the gold ore. So no. Um, armor would be good, so make a bit more defensive. I'll have a look at all of it. Um, we have. We don't have enough for that. We can do that. A hat to upgrade a couple of people, and we have some actual armor. Which we don't have stuff for. Okay, we'll build a couple hats. Happening hard, hard headwear that weighs barely anything at all. Great. And that go for both of them. If I can have enough for both. I still don't understand. Like, what's the tactic to this game? I don't think anyone knows. Just that somehow worked. Feather the cap. I remember learning about way ages ago. Okay. And can we forge more? Can we forge another hat? No. Okay. In that case, I can rework an item and actually maybe a weapon. Hold on. Um, we have that which lowers both our things and that which lowers his thing. So no, we can't. All right. We have four perfectionist pearls. I'm slowly learning how this all works. Um, Daz was the one that died last time, so maybe I'll upgrade his feathered hat. Which he doesn't have. Because it's in the equipment bag, of course it is. Um, okay. Let's 
see what we can do. Maybe. Maybe it's like the order of which one you pick. Like the first one worked right because I did it the right timing. And now they're all a bit off because I stopped the correct order on the others. I don't know. Or it's just luck. Hello Moo, thank you for joining us. We're in a very interesting element of the game. That wasn't perfection, but okay. Oh, we only went up by one anyway. I dare not think if I didn't get perfect then. Okay, let's sort that out, please. Um, you don't have the things that you need. Are they here? They're in here. Uh, feathered cap. Use. Nothing happened. Okay. Transfer to Daz. And then equip it. Yes, okay. And then did we make anything else? I don't think we did. We weren't able to. We tried. Yeah, we tried to make two of everything and it didn't work out. Okay. Um, then let's save again. And then let's go sort this all out. And then I guess just get better luck with the fighting elements. Cool. You've been watching this Pikmin 3 playthrough again because you're in a Pikmin mood. Fair enough. That stuff's from 2013. That's some old, 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 old stuff. That's six years in the past. I don't speak like that anymore. I mean, I just have a slightly lower voice because I've learned to chill. I wish there were more mods for Pikmin 3. I did actually see someone commented last stream that there was a mod to incorporate purple and white Pikmin into it. And I was like, that's, that was cool, but like that's also a very bland mod. I want more Pikmin 2 level mods in Pikmin 3, you know? Oh well. Alright, let's try this again, shall we? Now, those guys took a way crazy amount of time to actually die. And actually, so let's see if I, actually, let's see if I can make him sleep. The big guy, the one that does a lot of damage. Hello! Erica's best girl? Oh, I'm sure. Someone else followed him, I can't actually read it. Oh my god. My, my new preview screen's so small. Who is it? Is it going to zoom in time? Golden Cheeseburg. Oh, of course it is. Thank you for the follow. I, I... Oh my god, it did! Oh, that's amazing. Okay, we can do something now without that guy taking out all of our damage. Okay, we're buffed. Let's get a sizz on all of the shadows. Get, just get them out of here. If we can, please. Does attacking him wake him up? I hope not. Well, Von Veronica's not attacking them anyway. Veronica is very weak. I hope that improves. But otherwise... Yeah, look at that. Serena can heal us. We can just gnaw away at them. This is great. And we've got other hibiscuses. Hibiscus? Hibiscus. Significantly boosted. 15 only became 16. Okay. Man, I'm really getting sick of that voice line already. I still haven't used defense or defend, but I'm sure it's fine. Um, yeah, keep attacking one. Please. Yes, he's gone. Thank goodness. Jarvis wakes up and immediately is able to attack, of course. Um, do we have a hibiscus? We have magic water and stuff. Otherwise, no, I don't think we do. Nah. Um, I'll go for it again. Shadows. Thank you. To say don't attack too quickly. Eric, when are you fighting? Thank you, Serena. Alright, and that means uh, oh, I can make him fall asleep before he does it. Take this! No deep breaths for you, thank you. Until you Im immediately come out and smash us all the way. And Serena's about to fall asleep, that's fun. Sizzle them again! We've got loads of MP. Oh, doesn't want to heal. Okay. Nice! These guys just have everything for us, don't they? We're going to take them out on scissors alone? Yes, we are. Okay. Um, Let's save on that. Abilities. 
Stab it in any such way that he falls asleep, of course. I forgot about that, but I'm glad we've got it. Okay, so that does wake him up. And, yeah, okay. Um, 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 um. Can we heal? I would like to heal myself, honestly. Just be safe. And then we're going to try and use that sleeper hit and see if it works. It didn't. Okay, it has a chance, which is fine enough. Oh, us again? Still not going to do anything. Um, no. Fireball, that will probably do more damage in the end. Eleven, probably. I'll find out. Did you hold your breath in before? I don't know. I didn't even know you should do that. I'm going to heal just to be safe. Even though I know Serena would happily do it. That's not doing anything. You've got loads of MP. So you might as well use it. Aha! But they're immediately going to be woken up again, aren't they? Um, do we have another item that would work good against them? I don't think so. Okay, yeah, that does wake him up. Gotcha. Cool. Um, Frizz the guy. You're so pepped up, you gotta put him to sleep. Yeah. You don't have any sleeping items anymore. Okay. I'm gonna defend, let him sleep. Alright, nice one, Veronica. Okay. Good one. But we're heat we're surviving a lot better. By I think pure luck. Um can we Heal Eric. Thanks. You're welcome. Nine, nine. Yeah. Do a pet power. Thank you. Here we go. Rambo number five, she can't die. Oh what? Veronica would be. I see. That would make sense considering the, the amount of damage he took. Right, so even when he falls asleep, he can use that move straight after, which is fun. Um, do we still have. No, we don't have pepper attacks. Um, we were doing like 11 damage before. What is the actual. Of course, the, the fully blaring one does more damage. I'll keep that in mind. I don't understand the, the agility thing, how some people keep jumping turns. Because I don't even see like a bar going past or anything like that. But oh well. Each party member receives 6, 7, and 500 gold. Nice. Evac. Okay. Now, does Veronica actually oh, age up? I'll never be the Lord of Shadow's right hand man if I can't even beat the likes of you, Lord. All my dreams shattered. Good. Who is this Lord of Shadows you keep mentioning anyway? Oops. <laughs> You'll find out soon enough when everything finally goes to pot. Turn order is random, kind of. Just expect everything to be random, kind of? Find out soon enough, That's huh? weird. <laughs> right. Time to get my magic back. I was going to say, I feel like she wasn't she the same as that in the title sequence? So, like, she'll still be young. She's just going to have magic powers and be actual, able to actually attack now. Is that going to be the twist on all this?
You have to. But you look just the same. We're all our efforts for nothing. It was really convenient being five. <laughs> now I can like age a whole extra seven years of my life again. No need to worry on that front. I can feel the old magic zinging from the ends of my pigtails right down to the tips of my toes. Then why do you still look like a little girl? Oh. I'm not really sure. I suppose whatever made me younger can't be fixed just by getting my powers back. Is that going to be her whole arc? Or is she going to just I mean, age another seven say, years and be back to normal? Young, twice. Trust you to see the funny side. Well, I suppose I'd better get used to having a twin sister half my size. A lot of games have randomized turn order, just a stat that influences it. I guess, I just would have thought, you know, the stat would be the norm. Weird. Is it supposed to be like a replication of like real time almost, in that it's like anyone can hit next? Or depending on what, like, it just slowed down for you? Long have we waited to greet you. We of Arborea swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. There are those who would accuse you of bringing disaster on our world. Please, you must rest assured that they are wrong. You are okay. a hero. The light in your eyes, the light told of in the legends of Arborea, it proves that beyond a doubt. <laughs> I knew it was you the moment I saw you. How? What was so it? Now you have magical twins swearing to serve and protect you. I guess you really are the luminary, huh? Not that I ever doubted it, of course. There's plenty more we need to talk about, but we have to take care of something first. I wasn't the only one they were keeping prisoner, you know. Now. If I remember rightly, there should be a door around here somewhere. Eric, with that hair, everyone knows you're the real protagonist. It's true. The hero has very ordinary hair. Um, what are we doing now? Search the cryptic calls for the person. Baraka wants to help. I'll be the dad. Obviously. I assume it's this way then. Treasure? No. Now, what were they doing with him? Why? Why? Like, I get why they wanted the magical powers from Veronica. Just Look stealing people again? Cells. What a horrid place. Hey, who's there? That's still not going to be the father to think. The girl had black hair, didn't she? Or maybe she was loose. Never mind. Potty old fat head and his cronies. Oh, you one. I was starting to worry they were going to get sick of feeding me and decide to eat me instead. Don't worry, they stopped animating Veronica, so you didn't need to worry about it. And what about your poor little daughter on her own? Hmm? How do you think she's been feeling? Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking. Wait, you know Connie? We do. And she's fine, thanks for asking. The owner of the bar back in town is looking after her. He's a mature, responsible adult, you see. Getting almost like annoying to listen to the voices. Because it's like, nothing moves. It almost, it's almost a screenshot. It's like the mouth there and the tiny bit of the shoulders are moving the head. I should, uh... Get back and see how uh, Connie's doing. <laughs> Thanks a million. Well, he certainly left in rather a hurry. You can say that again. Very fishy. Well, never mind. As his companions make their way back to Alan Labyrinth, head back to Hotto, where they spend the night at the inn. Then morning comes.
bookshelves around here. I still need to finish that quest. I never did. Finally, you wake. Your comrades rose long ago at morning's first light. How they wait below. They wait for you to join them. As trees wait for spring, I forgot you all speak in haikus. Uh, if you braved the child in that scenario, how long would it take for them to pick that up? I wonder. Awake at last, huh? Don't worry. We all just woke up too. And now we're up. It's time to continue our little talk from before about Serena and I and how we're going to help you. Hmm. We have a legend in Arboria. It says that one day the Dark One will descend to extinguish the light, but that Yggdrasil's chosen, the Luminary, bearer of the Mark of Light, will rise to meet him. Okay. I know it's hard to believe. I mean, look at you. But it's true. You're the reincarnation of the Luminary. The man who defeated the Dark One long ago. I still can't work out why they'd need to bring you back if the Dark One was defeated, to be honest. But ours is not a reason why. Once we fulfill our sacred duty and get you to Yggdrasil, I'm sure all will be revealed. Yggdrasil, huh? Oh, I for one zero know character traits. On. Yep, got to be a blank slate so anyone can believe they're them. Have you ever tried thinking before opening your big mouth? In case you hadn't noticed, Yggdrasil is floating in the sky. Mosey, he says. Honestly. They say that the Luminary visited the World Tree before his battle with the Dark One. But alas, the legends do not tell us how. What? Not even you special protectors of the magical ancient wonder truths, no? Bummer. Yggdrasil, Yggdrasil, Yggdrasil. Wait, I think I might have an idea. Really? What is it? You know that guy. You ride a dragon because it's Dragon today? Quest. The I quest of the dragon. From. He sells information to. Uh, people in my profession. Do you think he might know how we can reach the world tree? Wonderful. Well, sure. What are we okay. For? To the bar we go. Oh, why am I your? Is this is this game boring? This is the second time I've streamed this game, and the second time I've started yawning almost. Im well, not immediately. Last time I was yawning at like nine o'clock. Now I'm yawning at six. I need a seven. Oh well. It might be the cutscenes being really slow. Come on, Daddy. Let's go. The nice man who keeps bringing you drinks must be getting tired. <laughs> He's just moving with his eyes. He doesn't even want to move his body. One more for the Press out the whole game. Way of animating. You never know. He might have some hot gossip that I need to hear. <laughs> Fishing for rumors, huh? Some things never change. Mm -hmm. You're Noah, right? In the circles I used to move in, you were pretty famous. You were the guy who knew things for the right price. No nugget of knowledge too big or too small. Noah the know-it-all knows them all. That's what they used to say, huh? <laughs> and what if they did? I can't help it if juicy tidbits have an habit of falling in me lap now, can I? But I don't go trying to get mixed up in this stuff. It just happens. JRPGs like in I'm general start slow a lot of the time. The oh, yeah. And but I mean, also just physically. This line's gone on for a while, you know? To see what all the commotion was, and there they was, just you, it gets better? Okay. We'll see. It's got 11 hours to impress me. I just had me tea. The villains collared the both of us and... Well, I just hope she's all right. She... The kind of... Is that a fourth wall break? We were wondering if you might be able to help us out. What do you know about Yggdrasil? Crikey. You lot don't do things by us, do ya? Got a big score in mind, eh? Well, 
Seeing as how you saved me life, I'll tell you what I know. Sounds like a Monty Python member. On the way here, Connie and me was travelling across the desert. When uh -huh. we came down, we have a bad case of heat stroke. We didn't have no grub left, no water, nothing. We just about. Next thing I know, I'm waking up in the sun. Anyway, when I come to, that's when I seen it. Well, I know top end gear when I see it. Did okay. you hear that, Veronica? A branch from Yggdrasil herself. I mean, you, you yes. saw one in the dungeon. Is that not the Let's same thing? Oh, it was a branch, I guess, not a root. Galopolis, so okay, got it. You are capable of having ideas that aren't completely stupid after all. <sighs> we should head for the desert right away. It's beyond the checkpoint southwest of here. That marks the border with Galopolis. I do hope you won't mind us tagging along. No, I only we wish you could speak faster. Oh, shush. <laughs> and then it may... I mean, I could actually skip it, but maybe there's something after this. Here. My God. You'll need this to get to Galopolis. Would I skip the Galopolis Pass? The I, does it really make a difference? Are awful sticklers for formality. Okay. Oy vey. Yggdrasil is now best girl? Is that how it works? Okay. Thought Yggdrasil was the Yggdrasil. Oh, yes, Yggdrasil's the tree. I'll allow it. Okay. Let's get out of here then. I guess we never needed to go up to the tippity top. Or maybe they'll make us come back here for some random reason, which is fine. Um. Nah. I want to see if there was anyone to talk to, but I also don't care. Well, what do you remember? We have a long journey ahead of us, don't we, Daz? I just happen to know a handy little spell that might make life a lot easier for us. Just give me a minute. Ah, fast travel. I assume is what Zoom means. You this spell, I just taught you to travel back to anywhere you've been before, quick as flash. So if you choose to come back here to Hotto, for example, just cast Zoom. Think of Hotto and you'll be back here before, just like that. Right now, you've got this little beauty in your bag of tricks. Let's go and find this extra branch, shall we? Galopolis is southwest of here. Let's go. Cool. Um, is it fast? Well, I'll know when I'm out here. It's probably not fast to teleport back to the dungeon. I would assume. Uh, oh, that reminds me. Hold on. Ah, oh my... Why am I? Oh, I'm so sleepy. Um, how do I get to settings? It would be in Misk, wouldn't it? Because someone suggested audio settings that I change the soundtrack. I mean, that's slightly nicer, but I'll keep it that way. It's more I wanted the uh, I wanted to change the mute what the music was. Apparently that's not an option. All right, I'll go with synthesizer. Something sounds different, I guess. Might be a little less annoying. Now southwest is that one, isn't it? Of course it is. It is faster. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. So magic zoom, please. I can only go to hotter. Okay, it's not that specific. <laughs> Convenient! But actually, hey, did I just show me the major map? Although I can barely tell where I am. I think I'm in the bottom right corner. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. What? Uh, oh, yeah, you're the drummer, man. I need to go this way to go down, don't I? I believe so. The map looks like Antarctica. I don't know what Antarctica looks like, but I'll... Okay, fair enough. 
This is the theme for 70% of the game. Yeah, that's why I really wanted to change it. Um, someone said last stream that you can change it to, or they, I should change it to Dragon Quest VIII's theme. I assume it's something I open later, because they said you could change it in the settings. I, I guess it's a late game thing, I would assume. Either way, I'm already sick of it. You know, I'm six hours in, it's just like, ugh. Just, blah, not a fan. So what is it, you mean just this place or the whole area? The whole world map is Antarctica. Um, no. Because that's not Antarctica. Antarctica's at least a blob. But I could possibly see it in the world map if I knew what Antarctica looked like. I'll be honest, I haven't been there, so I don't know the layout. Okay. An endless blue skyline. Everyone loves that the most. This is Hotto Step. I'm probably supposed to fight these guys, but I really just don't want to. I could have upgraded my people. I'll do it in Galopolis. This is the fun part of the game. The running part. Tick tock, tick tock, oh dear, oh dear, I shall be late too, I fear. So I'm gonna run the whole time? If someone doesn't step in to save the day, Tickington time is well and truly up. Oh no, okay. Tick tock, tick tock, the, world, the clock won't stop. It really is five minutes to midnight. If only there was someone who could come to our aid. Oh, Tick, you've clocked me, am I right? Can it be true? Can you really see me? Well, it's about time. I was beginning to think I was totally invisible. This can only mean one thing. You're a hero, aren't you? Oh, tickety boo. You're finally here and not a moment too soon. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Hero. My name's Ickle. I'm a rockle. I'm a tockle, excuse me, for, from over Tickington Way. And we need your help. We're having a terrible time of it at the moment. Can I ask you to come and be the hero of the hour? Ickle the tockle. Whew, thank you, Mr. Hero. I knew you wouldn't take more than a moment's thought to agree. Uh, does he join yourself now? Has the sun gone to your head or something? Well, the clock is ticking. Come on, it's time to show you and your friends the way to Tickington. Follow me. Oh, but wait, before we head off, this might be a good time to record your journey in an adventure log. Shall I do that for you? We'll take two ticks. You're going to take us to the dream world? What is this? Oh, this is exclusive Switch content. Ooh. All right. There we go. All done. Now let's make our way to Tickington, shall we? We'll be there in no time flat. Well, I hope it doesn't spoil whatever those characters are supposed to be. Tickingtons. You really have to take me to 2D world? Okay. Them. Hold on, what just happened? Things went all wavy and suddenly we're in this weird village. Oh look, he's so adorable, but who is he? Tick tock, it looks like you've clocked me too. You must be the Mr. Hero's friends. Welcome to Tickington, a place that's a little bit out on the ordinary. Normally only certain special people can see us tuckle types. But the second the even ordinary folk set foot here in our home, they can see us too. Uh, I think we might need a little background, like, who are you, Who? where are we, and why the heck are we here? You know, just the small stuff. How about you start from the beginning? The beginning? Yes, of course, the beginning. Tickety boo allow me to explain. We are the Tuckles. We live here in the village of Tickington. It's a very particular place where time flows a little differently from the way it does in Adria. It's our sworn duty to make the time flow as it should. That past, present, and future are all in the right order, and that all is unfolding as, as intended. In other words, we are make sure that everything is tickety-boo. Ah, hang on, Rick. A tick. Why do I keep thinking that's an R? I need to tell you, the mayor, that you're here. Why don't we let him explain the rest? Just head up those stairs, and you'll find him in a very special place we call the Echo Chamber. So come on, shake a leg. The clock's ticking, and there's no time like the present. I want to see, can I change my settings from here? Um, for a start. Hold on. Oh, wow, we can do that. I somehow thought we wouldn't be able to. Um, can I change it to 3D here? Probably not. No, I have to go to a church to do that. Gosh, you really are the luminary, aren't you? I clocked in... The second you arrived in the village, there's just something different about you. But don't let me take up any more of your time. But how the way is waiting up in the echo chamber, and he's ever so keen to meet you. Is this the echo chamber?
TikTok, look who I've got. It's the Luminary, and not a moment too soon. Ah, what marvelous timing. Welcome to Tickington. My name is Stickle, and I am one of the ma I am the mayor of this fine place beyond space and time. Now this clock is ticking, so I will be brief. My people have a sacred mission, and that is why we have sought you out, to look at our tomes that sit on the altars around us. In these sacred volumes are inscripted the tales of hallowed heroes from other worlds and other ages. Since time immemorial, the duty of my people has been to guard these books and to ensure that the great deeds of the past live on in the present. That is why we created the place where we now stand, the Echo Chamber, a sacred space where the adventure logs of all the hallowed heroes of old can be kept safe from the ravages of time, the other Dragon Quest games. Or so we had thought, but this holy haven has been sullied by an unknown miscreant who took it upon themselves to tear whole pages from our beloved books and literally daub others in ink. I am afraid I have no idea who committed this heinous crime, but what I do know is that as things stand, the heroic happenings of the past risk being lost forever. And the future, I would assume, history itself hangs in the balance. Which is where you come in. As the hero of your own age, I must ask you to right this wrong. I must ask you to plunge into each of these volumes and set the time on the right path once more. Before you dive in, you must learn the secret sanct the sacred incantations that will enable you to turn the back the clock with past words. Sadly, these were long since scattered or across Erdia. Erdera, er Erdrea. This being so, I have entrusted my most dependable rockles with the tockles with the <laughs> monumentous task of seeking them out. Should you find one of my friends here in the course of your travels, stop a moment and speak with them. With the luck, they will have learned the words they will, you will be able to journey through your pages of the ages. When you've learned one, you'll be able to return here and visit the very legends of the greatest heroes known to space and time. Now, if I'm not becoming confused with my old age, young Ickle managed to find a past word just the other day. Come, my little TikTok tyke, share with you what you have learned with our, say, with our friend. Yes, sir, TikTok, let's make this quick. Now, prick up your ears, because I'll say this only once. Ickle tells Daz the password he's found. You can now pass Gullum home via the Altar of Origins. Why not strike while time's at your side and take a close look at the altar over there? A whole new world of adventure awaits. Come on, there's no time like the present. Which one is it? Altar of Heavenly Pride? No. Origins? Okay. But Altar of Origins, a resident in stone on the monument. The altar allows you to visit worlds from the other adventure logs. From old adventure logs. What is this? Hello, Bagman crew. I assume this is Dragon Quest 1, isn't it? Are they making us play Dragon Quest 1? Or, like... What do they want us to do? I guess just do a, do a whole quest here, I guess. Oh, and we do it piece by piece, I guess. Mm. Ah, Sprawler can do it too. This is very slow paced. But yes, this is the other Dragon Quest games. Which is cool. I'm gonna go back now, probably. But I appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> you had to go ahead and do it, didn't you? Dragon Quest 1, 2, and 3 are available on the Switch, but who needs it when you've already got Dragon Quest 11 to play with them on? I didn't need all that sizz, but there it is. And it was only nine damage anyway. Nah, no, it doesn't fix anything. Ah, well. Bye bye. It sounds too much like a phone. Okay, cool. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 games, and then this one's the 11th. Nice. I'll get out of here now, but I appreciate it for the, the hardcore Dragon Quest fans who wanted some extra DLC.
right. Welcome back, Luminary. I heard you took a moment to listen to the mayor's request for assistance. Thank you and good luck. I'm Tickle Ickle's uncle. Come and talk to me when you decide the time is right for a trip to Tickendenton. Oh, wait a second. The mayor had something he wanted me to pass on. I'd get a proper ticking off if I told off if I forgot. Tick tock, tick tock. Bring back the past. Turn back the clock. Dad remembers the location of the tockles who are searching for passwords. Press X and select passwords from the info menu to get some hints on where to find the tockles you're looking for. Once you track down the tockle, have them teach you their password. It's as simple as that. I'm sure you'll find, have a fine time of it. Good luck. Okay. Interesting. Halt! None may pass without them. A pass. Show the god you pass. That shows the pass. Ah, very well. Everything seems to be in order. There you go. Why introduce the past then if it's never even going to be an element of halt? I guess just world building. I don't know. Oh, sorry, just stretch out my neck for a minute there. Oh, I hope we come to another marketplace because today I had like a. I mean, I'm only 23, but I had a moment as I was walking into town today. I was like, uh oh. Um, am I actually doing what I enjoy doing, or am I just doing what I do because I do it already? I was like, not having a midlife crisis, but I was like, is this what I want to be doing? Do I want to be making YouTube videos and walking out in the sun? What do I want to do with my life? What makes me happy? What's my purpose? Do I want to make a... What am I doing? Um, and then I was like, oh no, it's fine. Also, I really like marketplaces. I ate, I ate a, a hot dog for lunch from a little marketplace. It was all nice and sunny. I sat down on a bench. I just watched a river and some ducks. It was a really nice time. And I was like, hmm, maybe this is what I like. Earning enough money that I can buy a hot dog every few days from a marketplace get on with your day and i'm like i wish i could go to markets more like the old old medieval fantasy marketplaces that we saw like last stream but probably not gonna happen but that was like a thought i had so i like that kind of i like that fantasy environment a very weird little thought i had but i hope we see it more here because this is literally in the time period that i would like these marketplaces the most to be you know markets are nice now but i like it when they were bigger more fantastical, saturated, and colourful like that. Although it does look a little flat, but I mean, that's just a little bit of the aesthetic. Hello! I feel like we're going to meet another new partner here, but then maybe I'm thinking of this too quickly. We'll see. Oh, just look at all these people! How marvellous! Is there some kind of festival going on, I wonder? It's not gonna. Oh, I guess I turned all to play off accidentally at one point. Yes, of course. Galopolis is the kingdom of the desert knights, isn't it? And of the racetrack where they love to compete. I think we've arrived in town just in time for the horse racing festival. Well, you go <laughs> play with ponies if you like. I'm off to look for the Idrisil branch. That's why we're here. In case you forgot. I thought you'd be the type that would love horse racing, Eric. I don't know why. You seem like a horse racing type. A oh, gambler, yes, you know? Do no fun. Go off on his own if he wants. There's nothing to stop us having a little look around while we're here. Okay. Um, let's have a look at a few things. First of all, what do we have? We've got some people to speak to. These are the places I want to be. These shops. Um, because we need some we need some upgrades for everybody. Everyone's a little unupgraded, you know. Um, do you have things? You two. Not really. Um, do you have something you can have? We have equipment bag, like a pot lid. We can transfer to someone, right? Want to upgrade anyone? You know, it doesn't. It really doesn't want to tell me. What if I looked at my bag? Like, if I looked at equipment, uh, looked at equipment bag, maybe? No. Change category? Oh. I'll just buy stuff instead. That'll be easier on me. Um, so, what is that? A gold bracer. Uh, Prius pressure metal that makes a distinct improvement to the wearer's defense, which is cool. We probably could do with a bunch of medicinal herbs. Although we already also have a good chunk of there we go, that will almost round up our numbers nicely. Who's going to carry all that weight and burden? Um, Eric will. There you are, Eric. Um, 
I guess that's all you can give us. You're, you're the healer, man. Alright, enough of you. I'll talk to you in a mo. Here we go, weapons. You're the official supplier. Nice. I would have expected this much. What's the second page? You've got expensive stuff. But I can afford, like, one. And even then it makes them weaker. That barely makes a difference. If it did good, you got that. Okay. Um, weaker. Okay. That's all not that helpful. I was kind of thinking more armory stuff. Are you an armory girl or are you a... Uh... No. No, no, no. <laughs> this is the armory. Hello, man. Up to the armor shop. How can I help you? Um, so. That's pretty nice. These are still... A healthy chunk, aren't they? Of course they are. Um, turban for Eric. These guys aren't aren't like crazy unleveled though. I thought they'd like be starting with really weak stuff, but they're all right. Um, that would be really nice, although it's a little expensive. Um, maybe I should. Oh, I can sell a tiny. I'm gonna get that for it, for for our guy. Um, okay. In that case, copper ore. Do we need it? Oh, uh, well, it's not that much money. Sort by type? Mm, what? Oh, that will do details. Sort by type. Which is what? Okay, type and name is all I get. An Yggdrasil leaf. Return a single ally to life. Let's keep that one, maybe. Do we really not have anything worthwhile? Iron ore. Fresh fragment that we melted to make metal? Yeah. Look at the back. I probably can use these for something better. But not right now! I'll sell that so I can have that that, that armor for, for our guy. That sounds good. Out of your favorite characters in this city? Who? I, I didn't see the first half of that message, Jambo. I don't think you sent it. Unless I'm reading it entirely wrong, which I could be doing. A bronze suit? Yes, please. Just because um, Daz keeps, is the one that keeps dying first. And yes, we'll equip it. Cool. Now you can... Oh, can someone else wear that other item we have then? Not when Daz is using it. Wearing it. Transfer. Eric don't need it. Like, can you, Serena, wear that? Um, it makes you a little bit weaker. Okay, let's transfer it to... Is there an easy way to work this out? It makes everyone weaker. In that case, we'll sell it. I am rushing this a little too much. I do not know the menus well enough for this yet. Sell your weaker equipment? I thought I, I thought I was doing so, you know? Um, so, like, she's got a thorn whip, which will increase her attack. Well, she's got the staff. Uh, the wand with which Veronica has worked the bulk of her spellcraft so far. I mean, I should probably keep both in case I want to change her up. So I'll keep that for now. She has a lance or a wand. Which is, and that is stronger, but it doesn't have as much magical ability, I would assume. We have a sword. I like him with daggers, though, but we'll keep these swords and things just in case. And he's only got medicinal herbs. Okay. You're using that. Uh, you haven't got your pointy hat anymore, which is great, because we can get rid of that. And your bandana. That can go, too. Um, great sword, which I guess cannot sold. Okay, great. That's helpful. That's helpful. That's probably helpful. Um... Breaking Bloom that can awaken a single enemy. Okay. And then restore a bunch of stuff. Um. I might transfer these. Very minor thing, but like, it'd be helpful, I think. So. Can I? I wish I could highlight several, but it won't let me. Serena, you could do with that. And then, I mean. Yeah, I might keep them as auto just to make things easier on me. Or not, I don't really know. And a wake robin as well. Might be nice. Nah. Ooh, a strong medicine. No, I'll keep that on me just in case I use it for something. Okay. That's a little bit of upgrading. Everything else is really expensive. You're probably telling me where to go, so I won't listen to you. What do we have over here? Someone wants to talk, apparently. But they're not going to get the chance to. 
So, never mind on that front. What about over here? I'll, I'll listen to your woe. How much longer must I wait? Why must the sands torture me so? Ah, good day to you. You're perhaps wondering why I'm standing here, yes? The truth is, I am a painter, and I am waiting for a scene worthy of being immortalized by hand. I have, al uh, I have already envisaged... Envis envisaged? The sort of image I would like to paint, a mighty magnificent conflict unfolding in the desert. Alas, the sands have yet to oblige me. There is something missing. But what could it be? The setting is perfect, and there are plenty of spitfires. Ah, but of course, conflict! Cataclysm and chaotic conflict on the form of a magnificent move, such as Wild Side. Wait, perhaps you could assist me. Venture out into the celestial sands and slay a spitfire by unleashing a Wild Side. That would provide me with a tableau worth, totally worthy of my talents. Surely you will not refuse a struggling artist in his hour of need. The painter wants you to inspire him by using the Wild Side pet power to defeat a spitfire. spitfire. Okay. Ah, wonderful. A thousand thank yous. Yours is the kind of attitude that can inspire a masterpiece, I'm sure. And before you venture out into the sands, I feel that I should remind you that Wild Side can only be performed by three very specific people. It should give you an idea of its power and its beauty. If you want to know exactly who needs to be pepped up in order to perform it, select simply select attributes from the menu and press A to find out more about your pet powers. Now get out there and show that beauty of battle. I will ensure that you are immortalized on canvas. Okay. I'll find that out. Where? And press A for details. There we go. Okay. Oh, so we do have a few. Everyone except uh, Tiny Girl. Okay, that makes sense. Cool. Huh. They all need Daz, huh? Of course they do. Alright. I learned something. That's good. Let's go visit the circus for a minute, shall we? I can't. I can't get in. Typical. Do I have to talk to someone too? Probably not. Oh, are you here to buy tickets for the circus? I'm afraid they're all sold out. It's because Sylv's performing, you see. They all sold in a flash. Flash. We'll have to try another time. Okay. Another time it is. Let's go... We'll head for Sultan's Palace. Yes. Why are we after the palace? Going to a whole nother king? How do we know that's not going to cause more trouble? We're just after the, the... The branch, aren't we? Does the king have it? I guess the king has it. Or he knows where it is and is totally going to cooperate with us? Dramatic walking staircase. Still easier than the last palace I went to. Fellow Gallopolitans, this is no ordinary sand national. This race marks the day that Faris, my son and heir, comes of age, and as such. Oh, yeah, I have to do it no, myself. No, no, An event of such significance must have eloquence to match. Such functional pleasantries will not thrill my beloved subjects. Hmm? And who exactly might you be? I have no time to grant an audience today. You must leave immediately. Ah! <laughs> Feels like the last Dragon Quest guy, but probably not. My training is complete. Excuse me. What an accent. Why does everyone has have two body types? That and that. There's no in between, is there? Then give me the pledge. A knight's word is his bond. His kingdom, his master. He serves the weak untiringly, challenges the strong. Uh unflinchingly, ha, and never retreats in the face of adversity. Hmm? Yes, very good. The knight's 
pledge must always be your guide, my son. <laughs> you are a man now, Faris. And tomorrow's race shall prove it. You must show your people that you are worthy of their adulation. Fear not, beloved father. I shall disappoint neither you nor they. you to Galopolis. Hmm. Surely he speaks of the rainbow. It is the only treasure of our kingdom that would warrant such a description. I believe I can assist you, friend. Visit me in my chambers at the foot of the great staircase. I shall await you there. This seems suspicious, but okay. The king really don't care? Okay. Enough of that then. Even here? Oh, you are here. Okie dokie. I feel like I've heard that motif before. I don't know which way. Maybe I should have spoken to the pink guy. Okay, his highness is within, go ahead. Even the guards seem doubtful. This is a very small scale palace, you realize that? Ah, you came. Thank you. Mm. Yes, yes. Your height and physique are perfect, and you have the face of one who knows horses. You should be aware that the branch you seek is a priceless royal treasure. My father is unlikely to give it away freely to some <laughs> wandering stranger. However, he might be persuaded to part with it if the request came from his beloved son. I have but one small favor to ask in return. Uh -huh. Walls have so many unwelcome ears. Uh, <laughs> ah, the noise of the circus will protect our privacy. Will you join me there? Sure. Then it is agreed. What happens if you I say no in any of these? The entrance to that ridiculous tent this evening. Do not be late, please. You just said this evening. It's a bit vague, but all right. See you then. <laughs> bye bye. So far, this place has been a lot of run here, go here, go here. But I guess that is most games anyway. Maybe I'm being really critical. I don't know. I do what I know. So the guy likes cats. I'm getting a Nina Cooney vibe considering that cat palace place. Even though I haven't played the games, I just sort of know it exists like that. Okay. Galopolis. There you go. Oh yes, it was drifting because I had my leg through the whole thing. I have to wait till evening though, don't I? Is there an easy way to... Does a... Uh... Does this help? Can I go to bed here? Just wish for it to be evening, please. Or I'll take the pots, that works too. There's an ominous lighting though. This feels pretty... confirmed. You know? Am I being mugged?
then again, I feel like I remember that iconic scene. Never mind. Okay, it didn't make it night time at all. I just wanted it to be night time. Hey, it didn't cost money, I don't think. Did it cost money? Maybe it cost money. Where's big guy? Is he around? He is. Don't you go give my girl any funny ideas, yeah? She's got enough of her own already. <laughs> her, her. Okay. How do I make it night time? I could go to a campfire. How do I just wait? Is there a thing I can do on the side? I haven't explored this side of town. I guess I could do that. Everyone's arguing about someone emerging victorious. This is such a weird way to break the barrels, you know? But okay. What's this? Clearly important. Oh, it's the church. Uh, sure. Is this really that important? Undo skill assignment so the points could be used otherwise. Oh, interesting. Right, I need a. I just need a bed. I assume I can't sleep upstairs in any church. I mean, I could be vastly wrong. There is an upstairs up here, but no, no beds. Okay. What's this? There's a lot of doors like these. Hello. May I? I'll talk to you if I have to. It's probably just a house I'm not allowed to sleep in, isn't it? Yep. Typical. Well then, it'll be the same with all of these. None of these have symbols on them. Is there an inn? I remember being in an inn before. I mean, I guess I could fast travel around. Um, rest at the inn until night falls. Yes. Where is said inn? Does it say? It says stables. Paddock, racetrack, the circus. Just stables. No. Anyone got any ideas? Anyone help? Should I have to manually run around to see what's going on? Do I test every building? I can just test every building. These are just people's houses, though. But I'll read from your bookshelf. You don't have... That's not bookshelves. But I get stuff out of you. And you run way too slow when you're indoors. I understand why, but it's still an inconvenience. Red book. The dreaded denizens of the celestial sands. Oh, another set of wayfarers' clothes. This is not that riveting. I wish I could see it more clearly where the inn was. I could just be blind. Like, this is the stables. And I'm probably not supposed to be in the central area. I don't think there's going to be an inn here of all places. Or I'll go on the underground with the racetrack entranceway. Okay. I'll just do some exploring. You guys are just walking around in the bottom area. Am I going to get 
stuck because I can't find an inn. Like, this is the racetrack area. Which is cool to see before I'm supposed to see it. Technically. Otherwise, I'm not interested. I should get a horse. I'm going to be in this racetrack, aren't I? I'm going to be right alongside our friend, buddy, chum, Prince Faris. song is also getting tired on me now. What does this mean? It is just another stables area, isn't it? A stable spot. Yes, it is. Are you an inn? Probably not, but I'll have a chat anyway. I'll take from your bookshelves. <gasps> Excuse me. Books. And a very unhuman like standing butler. Lady of the House is a clean on classic literature. I'm not allowed to use her bed. Is this an inn? Just a random guard? Spectator stands, okay. No, is there stuff up top here? No, these are the top of the other buildings. I've probably gone the exact wrong way to go to the inn then. So you really would have thought it would be here. Oh, we're getting some frame rate issues, really? Not quite what I was expecting. Yeah, that's... Ah, I'm literally just blind. Literally, I thought I'd already gone in this for some reason as if it was items. Well, excuse me. Sorry for wasting everyone's time. I was probably not supposed to say stay overnight, was I? Probably not. Ah, it's still bright out. Oh no, did I press it wrong again somehow? This game is going against me! Uh, well, it's sundown. Maybe that's better. You know, I get the feeling maybe it's not sundown. Why? Come on. It's because you speak too slow, but then are also too fast. Until night. That was three times more expensive than it needed to be. Thank you. Oh, that's nice. I like it. Faris, hi. You came. Excellent. The noise of the circus will allow us to speak without being overheard. Shall we go inside? Good. The circus has already started. We should enter without further delay. I wonder if people have done this. Gone to the circus to speak shady business. For some reason I thought that was a cursor in the bottom left corner. Where the light was until it went away again. Gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for the act you've all been waiting for. Is it going to be our next partner, boy? Who amazes audiences wherever he goes. Prepare yourselves for an experience like no other. Prepare yourselves for... It's a long time to pose for a long leg. It is! I've seen this guy before. I'd like to see what this looks like on an episode of Boundary Break to see how they use these items to make ma literal magic appear. But it's probably just that the items are stored underneath the map like usual gaming tropes. Or just to see how these cutscenes are animated when you're not at the right camera angle, you know? Yeah. Ladies and 
gentlemen, please. There is no need to be afraid. The great okay. Silvando will never endanger his adoring audience. After all, but done, just this. You are the ones who make this show so special. I love you all. Thank you. Thank you. You can tell by all the expressions in his body. In his, uh, you know, body language. Look at all the animation on him right now. He blinked. That's pretty good. That's pretty, pretty motive. I gotta say. <laughs> Quickly, we must talk while the people are distracted. And please, not a word of this to anyone. As you may be aware, the Sun National is the most important event of the year here in Galopolis. And tomorrow, I am due to make my debut in the race to end all races. However, there is a problem. One teeny, tiny, terrible problem. Yes. I cannot ride. In fact, I have barely so much as sat in a saddle. Huh? I have so far been able to hide this uh, unfortunate fact, but if I were to take part in the race, the inconvenient truth would surely be uncovered. And yet I have no choice for the Prince of Golopolis not to take part in the Sun National on the year of his coming of age is unthinkable, unthinkable. So you see, your coming here was fated. It is a sign. The forces of destiny mean me to use you as my double. Ta-da! Your double? How's that gonna work? Won't everyone notice as soon as he walks out onto the track? Ah, the fates wear a hood? have provided that also. For you see, the royal family always races in full armor, lest the unthinkable occur. His face will be hidden from view. Oh, please, please. I beg of you. You must help me. You must enter the Sun National in my place. You are the most pathetic excuse for a prince I've ever seen. If you think we're going to help you lie to your people, you've got another thing coming. Is that so? Then I assume that your need of the rainbow is not so great after all. Wow. Talk about shameless. Call me what you will, it changes nothing. You will do <laughs> as the fates wish and take my place in the race? Yes? <laughs> I knew you would see sense in the end. Thank you. I will talk to my father about the rainbow as soon as the race is over. You have my word. I took the liberty of arranging rooms for you at the inn. Rest well. Mm -hmm. I will see you in the stables bright and early. You will find the stable entrance in the western part of the city. Do not be late. Yes, I know now, this. I must be on my way. Farewell. All right. Just got to hit those story beats. How's he going to be connected into this, though? Obviously, we've got to meet him. Is he going to be another horse rider? Ah. Not a fan of the prince. Spent the night in the rooms arranged to them. Then morning comes. Always morning coming. That's how time works. Yes. With our little spiraling orbital sun. Good morning, I hear that you spent the evening at the circus. Was it not the most wonderful spectacle? And today is the day at the Sand National. So much to enjoy. The streets outside are already full of life. Pun? You wish to halt find the royal dressing room? Why, it is in the grandest room in the stables, of course. They are to the west of the paddock. Enjoy the race. Let's go. Let's run. There we are. Have to run all the way around to reach it, but that's fine. I'll allow it. Da -da 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 -da. I can see how this was translated in 2D, you know? It's a big old square. It's fairly easy to work around. Probably faster to run through as well. Prince Barris? Yes, His Highness is through here in the Royal Dressing Room. You may enter, but remember to be respectful, please. This is the biggest... the biggest it gets? Okay. 
Thank the stars, I was beginning to worry that I might actually have to try and raise a horse. Now come, the race will begin shortly, and fear not, I remember my promise. If you do as we agreed, I will ask my father about the branch. Well, are you ready? Good! Now hurry, you must don the Royal Galapolitan, Galapolitan Armour and Helm. Fear not, they will fit you perfectly, I am sure. They do not. Do they? I don't, I don't know. Okay, it's as if they were made for you. No one will expect from them that you are not, in fact, the Prince of Galopolis. Now the race is about to begin. My, sorry, your steed waits outside. Once you are safely mounted, make your way through the paddock. The racetrack lies beyond. Uh, meet me afterwards in the passageway that leads to the racetrack. You will find, give me the helm. No one be any the wiser. Now go. And remember, you are the Prince of Galopolis, and your public expect great things of you. Do not make a fool of me. Easy enough. I want this to be a costume I can wear sometimes too. Won't be an option, but I can I can dream. Oh, are they all saying hi? Greetings, your highness. This one doesn't speak. This one's in trouble. Ooh. Nice. This is the entrance of the track, your highness. Your preparations are complete. Very good, your highness. May you have a successful race. All right, let's 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 see how this goes, shall we? And I'll have a sip of drink while I get the chance. My throat has been giving me troubles. Yesterday and today I was doing some unpacking. Lifted up a bunch of dust. I'm allergic to dust. It was great. Now my throat is suffering for it. Politans. This is uh, no ordinary sand national. Uh. Oops, sorry, I gotta do this myself. All hell, Prince Varys. <laughs> it must be wonderful to be so popular, darling. But of course, you are used to it, being a real live prince, huh? Hello, Silvando. I was gonna say, you riding a chocobo or something? One of the other riders had a little whoopsie, so I had to step in at the last minute. <laughs> but don't think I'll be going easy on you just because you're royalty. Where would be the fun in that? Try to keep up, little princey. Why are we so good at horse racing? Why are we so good on a horse? Were we raised with horses? Oh wow, okay. Hold ZR to send your horse speeding ahead and press Y to tug on the reins for a nice tight turn around those tricky corners. Your trusty steed's stamina will steadily subside as it tears around the course, but top it up by running through a green swirl, or three, and you'll be, soon be back in the running. All right. Strange, it's the same sound effects as a Twilight Princess. Uh, where'd the green swell go? Okay. I, for some reason, was not using that trick like I should have. Oh, I missed it. Okay, that heals half, which is nice. Heals. Mm. 
Ah, oh, I keep hitting that. Stop a little bit. There we are. Oh, okay. I thought I wasn't supposed to hit the pumpkin. There they are. Is this the battle theme? Simple, I guess. If it's effective, keep it. I didn't hit it this time. I'm growing as a person. Character development is here. Okay, and wow. The sound design on that's not perfect. Just cutting it out for the old school sounds. I mean, it's, it's nice for the nostalgic type. But to me, it just felt a little underwhelming. You know, I was very whelmed. I wasn't. I was. I was underwhelmed specifically. But all right, it was simplish enough. Woo. These story beats feel too easy. You know, it's just like it very very much feels like you know my first JRPG. You know what I mean? Very casual, very easy. Fear not, my friend. I have not forgotten my promise. I will discuss the rainbow with my father just as soon as my people have finished showering me with adulation. Uh huh. Sorry, I pressed the wrong button. Button there. <laughs> the cheers of Prince Barris' adoring public fill the air as he makes his way out onto the track. the fates our plan was a success thank you you have spared me great humiliation <laughs> I will go immediately to my father and ask about the rainbow <gasps> <laughs> hello all hail Prince Faris pride of uh -oh. the desert horseman extraordinaire darling you are fabulous it was enough to bring a tear even to my jaded eye. Uh, 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 oh. Wait, <laughs> don't tell me you were... <gasps> Surely you didn't let your understudy take the stage for the command performance? <gasps> oh, this is too, too good! Wait, wait, but you do not understand the pressure I am under. A prince of Galopolis who could not ride a horse is a disgrace to the kingdom. I did what was necessary for the sake of my people. And now all can be forgotten. <laughs> you like that guy? I see it. There was silly old Silvando thinking that knights never retreated in the face of adversity. Silence! I am the prince of this kingdom, and I will not have a traveling jester lecture me on chivalry. A thousand pardons, your highness. Sultan wishes to see you, your highness. Your magnificent display of horsemanship has pleased him greatly. Very good. I will come right away. Okay. My promise still stands. Come to the throne room in a little while. We will see what can be done about this branch of yours. So nice to see a royal with the common touch. You were wonderful out there today, darling. Maybe we'll get to share the stage again soon. <laughs> that was like a reverse wink. You know? He had both eyes shut already, and then he opened one. And half his mouth. That was weird. I would have helped. Yeah, okay. What if requiring at least 10 accolades? Wow, amazing. I'm head to the throne room upstairs. Okay. In a little while makes no difference. Noted. Huh. <laughs> the guard playing with some kids? Is 
reading that right? <laughs> that's a chum? Oh, that's definitely a chum. You're absolutely right on that front. I th there will be a chum in every game, and in this game it's Silvandro. Silvando? Silvando. Silvando. <gasps> oh, excuse me. I'm somehow getting a bit of a headache now. Why? I don't get headaches. Man, I don't know. Truly, I am humble. All I have ever desired is to fulfill my duties as a prince and as a knight. Don't twist Father, your words on us now. I, may, I have okay. promised to assist these travelers. Would you permit me to explain? Gladly, my son. It warms my heart to see you aiding those in need. Truly, you have taken the knight's pledge to heart. Thank you, father. <laughs> the truth of the matter is that my friends here have come to Golopolis in search of the rain. Your majesty, the beast has uh -huh. returned. It attacked one of our men while we were out on patrol. The Slayer of the Sands is back? Why must the accursed creature always appear on this, the happiest day of the year? We will stand for this no longer. I must dispatch my finest knights and ensure that the fiend never again returns to terrorize the celestial sands. Okay. Wait, my boy, the fates are speaking to us. Capturing the Slayer would be the perfect way to show your people what a fine knight you have become. Oh. What? Okay. But, 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 oh, father, <laughs> so many of our bravest men have confronted the creature and perished. <laughs> Surely, <laughs> I do not stand a chance. <laughs> Truly, it is the most able who are the most humble. But That's you cannot idiotic. hide your true feelings. You are trembling with excitement. <laughs> This is your moment, Faris, my boy. Capture the Slayer and take your place in history. But uh, I, I, oh, ve very well, Father. <laughs> Yay! I shall begin my preparations right away. Pardons, the, the rain bar will have to wait. Meet me in my. Oh. Yeah, all right. I read it ages ago. The lines. Waiting for us to open the door with like this the whole time and then just point. Spoken like a true desert knight. Seriously, can't you handle this on your own? No, no, such a thing is impossible. I am no knight. I neglected my training. I allowed my vassals to fight all my battles for me. Oh, it is not my fault. I am an only child. I was coddled from uh, birth and raised for the most insignificant of achievements. I got that too. I did not wish to disappoint my parents or my people, so I, I, I found ways of, of seeming to fulfill their expectations without necessarily doing so. But the more I fulfilled them, the more their expectations grew. And now, finally, they expect the impossible. Oh, 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 it's so unfair. Don't you see? If you refuse to help me, I will be sent to my doom. And through no fault of my own. <laughs> Please. Will you take pity on your own friend? <laughs> oh, 
was hoping there could be more sobbing sound effects, but all right. Thank you. Ten thousand thank yous. <laughs> and fear not. I will speak to my father about the rainbow as soon as the beast is captured. We must make preparations to depart immediately. I will await you at the castle gates. <laughs> all right. What a pathetic excuse for a prince. Goodness knows what'll become of Galopolis with him in charge. Oh, we mustn't be so hard on him, Veronica. I'm sure it can't be easy growing up with everyone expecting so much of you. <sighs> Alright then, let's go capture this sandly beast monster band of the sand. I might make it though, that I do just watch future JRPGs. I'm getting a... I don't know, maybe I just don't have the patience for it. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Or like, it'd be funner to do more casually, like in, a, in the middle of a day. I don't know. Having everything set up specifically to do this, I realize how empty and quiet so much of it is, you know? The RPGs I'm used to are like Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, and that doesn't have this much empty running around. I don't know. Maybe I should go 2D, although I don't like the 2D design. But it would make things faster. You can teleport a lot better. Hello. Everyone's waving you off, huh? Ah, there you are. I have instructed my men to wait outside the city gates. Come and join us as soon as you're ready. All right. I'll consider myself ready. I already upgraded ages ago. A little bit. Oh, and you're not giving me the option anyway. Okay. I need no disrespect, your highness, but how could you do this to us? You have volunteered us for certain death. Oh, yeah, sorry. Fear not, trusted retainers. We do not journey into the jaws of danger alone. Ha! Impeccable timing as always. Allow me to introduce our knights in shining armor. These brave adventurers have agreed to capture the Slayer for us. Now, the beast lair is said to be located deep within the celestial sands. The fastest route is through the checkpoint to the west. We march immediately for Galopolis. For Galopolis. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So do we know where we are now? Like we know we're at Galopolis. Do we know where Galopolis is in the Go world? For a little one? Oh, I'd hate to miss a good beast hunt. Huh? Oh, he just shows up and wants to join, huh? Oh god, what's he doing? <laughs> Breaks his legs. <laughs> There's no such thing as a good beast hunt, friend. If I were you, I'd run along back to the circus. Well, aren't you just a lovely, patronizing little deer? Look, I'm worried about the half-wit prince getting himself killed. Can I come with you or not? Hmm. At least one of you has some sense. Lead on, darling! You gonna join us immediately, or...? I like your theme. You're a lot more interesting. You do more interesting things. And I appreciate that. But okay, you're gonna be our secret fifth member then, yeah? Yeah, nice, okay. We're heading, heading to the west, yes? Yeah. So that there's someone to talk to there anyway. Celestial Sand Checkpoint, cool. Um, and that's, oh, that symbol means campfire. Okay, let's go to that then. Open it as like a save spot would be probably good, even though an auto save will do the same thing. I don't need to forge any new things yet. Maybe it won't. Maybe it won't give me that option. It's on the other side of this. Okay. I can't read maps. It's a sh It's a weird. I'm getting a little bored of just the back-to-back -back dungeons. Are JRPGs always dungeons? 
Xenoblade wasn't all dungeons. It was like the world was the trial. Because here it just feels like I've got to just go to the nearby... Oh, it's the temple next to the door. Now it's the... the, the where the... The, the the demon dungeon where people were kidnapped in by the the, the sun the well, I can't remember what they're called it's hot springs now it's a a trial of a beast next to the next town it's like is there always going to be an evil place next to every every normal place it's a bit formulaic it does feel it feels basic which I guess is what I was expecting but it feels almost babyishly basic, you know? So like this is classic JRPG, and it's boring me because of it. I haven't had a lot of experience with JRPGs. I mean, I guess I've watched a few. Maybe that's where I'm getting the, like, Persona. That's really original. Paper Mario was not a JRPG. Xenoblade Chronicles had a bit more going for it, you know? This just came out on Switch. It's not whole, it's not hooking me. We'll go through right away. Thank you, Prince Paris, for allowing that to happen. Just finish this path. That's a lot of running. Is there a... I think there might have been a horse thing earlier that I just completely ignored, but oh well. I'll get by. Oh, it's by the thing, isn't it? Of course it is. Oh well, we'll run it. It shouldn't take too long, right? We're basically there. I will remember. It was the campsite that had the, the horns last time. I forgot that, and I need to remember that. One day. One day I'll remember that. Can I swim? No, I, this is going to be shut off as well. Even, like, the temples basically look the same as well. I mean, they don't, but it's just that same asset of a big square block building, you know? Just like, it's, it's almost like repeated assets, it's the same concept again. Although the dungeons don't take long to do, like, I feel like the, the one with the kidnapped people just that was a blink and it disappeared again, you know? So I guess I could probably cheese this one too and just slide right by. I'll have to level up a little bit while I'm there, but otherwise we're probably fine. We'll find out, I guess, won't we? Hello, peeps. actually use the camps because last time we did it Eric sat down so let's see how everyone actually sits around with five people but we'll see so two boys and two girls out on a lovely adventure together huh how romantic but what kind of adventure I wonder come on spill the beans to be perfectly honest we're none too sure ourselves just yet but for the moment, we're trying to get to Yggdrasil. We need to understand more about the mysteries surrounding the Luminary, you see? It's all to do with a horrible being called the Dark One. He wants to bring death and destruction to the world. And we want to stop him. All right, Big Mouth, that's enough! You don't need to tell the Jolly Jester our whole life story. We barely know him. My, 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 my. So there's a dastardly villain coming to steal all the smiles and laughter from the world. And you four heroes are on a daring mission to stop him before it's too late. Oh, now that does sound fun. Hmm. You've got a strange idea of fun. What about you, Sir Rando? What made you leave home and set out on the road? Oh, you don't want to hear my boring old stories. 
We've got a big day ahead of us tomorrow. Come on, kitties. Very bye's. Completely oh. <laughs> shut off. It's a one-way system with him. Well, aren't we full of mysteries? What's He's his probably thing? still awake, but alright. Slept well, we got ourselves a slayer to catch. Our little Princey Pooh and his friends are set up for first light. We better hurry if we want to catch him. I'll do what I can. That was an auto save, I'll allow it. It'll let me just run right past. Um, I don't want to fight enemies right now. I should. I just don't want to. I want to actually start. I get that I mean, making progress and it's been fast, but it's like it's not been. It's not been satisfying work. I, I went. I went back and forth a bunch to play a mini game, and now I've done more back and forth to come here. It's not much yet. I hope it does pick up quickly. We'll see. I really don't know. I really don't know. We're getting a bit of slowdown as well. I'm feeling it. Maybe I need more variety in the enemies as well. Like I get that they're new, but they're already duplicating everywhere. You know, that's the fourth blue dragon slug I've seen. There you are. I should have really grabbed a horse. Probably would have made lives a lot easier. Slayer of the Sands was last seen here. Right. It sounds like Gramps from Xenoblade, but probably won't be. Then again, Taurus here, so what do I know? Cowardly creature is nowhere to be found. It must have fled in fear. Let us return to the castle and inform my father of our success. Oh, you know. He's grump. Well, he doesn't even look angry. Up and at him, Princey Pooh. Show that filthy thing what real knights are made of. Oh dear. Looks like poor old Ferris has been struck down with stage fright. You soldiers, beat the ears and look after him, will you? Come on, gang. This little drama needs a hero or two. What a strange... It reminds me of something, but I don't know what. Oh well. Watch out! Keep an eye on those claws, darling. Okay. Those two are fighting wisely. <laughs> we'll... I mean, I pressed fight, but it meant we did nothing. I guess because the others had to move first for some reason. Alright. Let's try a small fireball. How's it going? 12? Okay. And honestly, I, there's not much you... Oh, I guess you go for sleeper hits. You can keep trying that for a while. Ooh. Cool, back to our senses. Oh. Oh, how did we survive that? I was barely, I was half not paying attention, admittedly. Um, oh, so I can slash up with that, that's cool. 13, that's barely any different, okay. So, let's try Sizz. Probably does the most damage, hence what, no, not really. 
Okay. Fall asleep. Such an old woman. Sounds it now. Please don't hit Veronica. Okay, thank you. Preferably not me either, but I mean, we can take it a little better. Nice. I'm gonna keep using these sleeper hits. Just in case, haha, <laughs> because they can hit. Okay, look at that. It really is not worth it though, considering they just do that, but all right, I'll keep it in mind for next time. Call for backup, but no one shows up. Didn't know there was even an option. 55 points of damage, okay. Ouch. Um, We don't have that item on us, do we? No. Um, okay, you can attack for now. We do. Whatever it was. Um, wake a robin? No. Oh, do we not? Did we not have it? We don't have an equip, do we? No. Maybe it's an equipment? No. Okay. Typical. Alright. Fine. I mean, we've done a lot of damage to it. We'll just keep going. Without Veronica's help now. I mean, honestly, I don't need Eric to do much more. Here, okay, we can do that. Oh, it pepped up. Well, that's going to be fun. I forgot about Salandra's here. Wow, okay, just completely wiping us all out, huh? Salandra, you wanna try? No, no he doesn't. I really need to level up, don't I? Um, I lose 49, 46 gold, that's fine. Let me better prep my people, a tiny bit. We were doing really good until we had a, a hit that just completely destroyed us. Oh. oh, it did put us here. And also, it doesn't come with a bell? Okay, it does. Um, right, equip, I guess, items. We have some really good things. I, s I swear we do. A strength ring. Oh, okay. Um, another time. Uh, maybe not another time. I don't know who that was good for right now. Uh, anyone. Here, Eric. Or who, who could get a better upgrade? Probably Eric, yeah. Eric's good enough. Thank you. Right. Item bag, then. What was it that it was that healed us? Yggdrasil... Leaf, that was it. You know what, I'll go to Serena, I'm sure she can... She'll use it, right? I'd hope so. There's a chance she won't. Uh, I might give it to myself then, actually. Hold on. Okay. That's about as good as I could probably do for upgrades, honestly. Oh, I can use my skill points! Once I work out how. It's a bit of a bit of a manage. Okay, allocating points on mass. Press Y, and you can choose the path, skill, and abilities, and stat boosts you'd like to learn from a little bit, like a little risk rather than selecting each panel individually. When you finish, trick ticking what you want. Kick a panel to acquire anything in the go. But bear in mind that secret panels will still be unlocked uh, by opening the ones around them. You can unlearn anything you don't need and relocate your skill points to something more useful by visiting a church. Okay. Um, in that case, I could probably really do with some stuff. Um, luminary abilities. Increase the chance of getting pepped up. That's probably pretty good, considering... Um... Oh, I need eight. Of course. We're not using great swords. We're using swords. 
Critical hit plus two. Attack wielding plus three, which we've got. Dragon slash. Attack that causes heavy damage to dragons. Interesting. All right, I'll save on that then. Same with you, you can't do anything. But Veronica, you can. Vim? Brings into being a barrier that protects people. Um, okay. Oh, I don't like it like that. I don't like that layout. So you've got heavy wands, which is what you're using, right? Yes. Uh, MP absorption when wielding, plus two. Okay. Uh, what's that? A wallop with the whip on a group of enemies that can sometimes confuse them. That sounds better to me. I'm going to give her a whip. In a bit. Um, increase attack power when wielding whips. Thank you. Uh, a wallop on the whip. A group of enemies that sometimes put them to sleep. Hey. You can't afford these anyway, but what's the other one? Attack on a group of enemies that deal heavy damage to humanoid family foes. Cool. I'll give her a whip in a bit. She has a half history. Forms a better barrier that protects all from fire-based attacks. And from ice-based attacks. I don't need that right now. Increase MP absorbed when attacking with wands. Okay. And spears. A spear strike that can deal heavy damage to a beast family monsters. Nah, we'll go with some MP absorption. Thank you. And increase magical mending when walling syrups. It's just ones. Cool. Any of these five? No, of course not. Oh well. Right. I like that. So then items. Veronica, you can have a whip. No. You can't use it. Equipped. There we go. Much better. Right, let's go back. You really would have thought that would have auto saved before, and I can't do the sharp turn on an actual horse like the minigame. All false advertising. I just have to deal with the slow version instead. Typical. But this is at least a little bit more enjoyable, faintly, than the actual running it process. Though we still have a while to run. But not nearly as long, so it's fine. I'm gonna save here for a minute. Uh, so Daz has more defense. That was the only real item upgrade I got. I could maybe give people more powerful weapons if I wanted to go all the way back home, but I don't. Or back to the town. But I don't want to, so I won't. But maybe another time. Man, this song really needs to be longer, you know? It really kind of, it doesn't drag on. But my god, it repeats, you know? Why did it take me back to that save point, not the earlier one? Oh well. Um, are the tactics still? Yeah, everyone's fighting wisely. Great. Alright, you start first this time. Right, from what I can tell, Sizz is probably the best attack. Um, we also have Flame Slash, which ain't the best. Okay. Sizz it is. That does 12. Okay. Maybe not. Defensive buff, pretty nice. Veronica's confused. Okay, that's better with 15 damage. Wow, Veronica got over that quickly. Um, are you kidding me? What was that? How do I stop that? With my upgraded defense, I did nothing. And Daz is the one with the healing item. Well, that's them dead. Because I can't do extra healing. Huh. I think that was just some bad RNG. Am I reading, reading that wrong? 52 damage in one go? I want to stop these. Alright, 
Well, it looks like I am gonna have to use my uh, upgrades a bit better. That's a massive hop for that animation. It's very odd. Yep. Oh, okay, that wasn't too weird. But sometimes they jump for it, don't they? Oh. Oh, thanks, Salando. He can't. How do you do? How do you fight against that? Fifty-six damage. I've just got to hope Salando tanks all the damage now. She literally just has to heal herself and hope that they don't randomly get double dosed on attack. Oh! Get us out of it. No. Um. That seems a bit much. 56 damage all at once. I might just get a bunch of hibiscuses. No, that's not going to help. Um. What's the other thing we could do? There's another. What's the latest one? That one, I guess. North campsite. Okay. And I'm losing gold every time I do this. So I can't even like. I'm losing item upgrades. What is that also? It allows you the caster to return instantly to the start of a dungeon, of course. Take us to Golopolis City. You need more EXP? Ugh. Oh. And I just need to level up more? There's 56 damage. Uh, uh, I'm not losing by a little bit on that. I need like a massive overhaul. You know? Um, what's an item I can. I want to. Conf um, confusing would be grand. Um, wait, is that an ability they have now? Um, like that. Character builder, I guess. Serena. Oh, no, you didn't get it yet, did you? It was this one, wasn't it? It was like. Um, oh, no, that's just heavy damage. Sometimes put them to sleep. What am I thinking of? Maybe it was Eric. Do you have an item that like um, steals their weapons from an enemy? No. Sent to sleep. No. Uh, a sly strike that can use sleeping or confused enemies. That can that can see a sly strike that can see sleeping or confused enemies takes six times damage. That's pretty nice. One day. I don't know how I'll get to that simply. Do I really just need to fight? Um, what am I... Hold on. Let's go to the church. He'll tell us. So I want to read these EXPs. 405, 130, 1565, 1821. Oh, but they are level 12. Um, man, all right. How much, how many, how much gold do I have? Am I stuck in a horrible cycle? Do I just need to grind? Let's have a look. Oh, hello, Solando. I'm surprised to see you up front and center. Is it because the others are dead? Is it because the others are dead? 
No, no, they have HP. They're fine. Um, how's our defensive stuff? That's what's kind of killing us. We have 23G. All these deaths have kind of wiped us out. Well, that's a an anticlimactic way to go further. From the looks of things, then, this game isn't really stream friendly. It wants me to grind now, and like, this whole plot point hasn't had me fighting enemies. I guess I could have been fighting all the ones along the road, but even then, there's like three enemies and 25 slots to go with. It wants me to grind, and I don't want to do that on stream. I think if I was to continue this game, I would stop streaming it, do like grinding off stage, off scene. Oh, okay. Um, stop, you know, I'll grind off stream and then come back better every time, like a let's play basically. I don't want to do that. And I don't have the motivation to play much more of this, at least not for a while. Like, I don't know what it is. It still feels like it hasn't started, or at least it does. But it doesn't feel like I've taken a bite, you know? It's very bland and basic so far. And it feels like it is designed to be someone's first JRPG, which makes sense. It's a classical JRPG, but it's not invested me. The part that's keeping me going is wanting to see all the other characters come into play. I know there's a there's a big round old man guy who might who looks like Gramps, but probably isn't. And then I know there's the, the slim girl in green that kicks someone in the title sequence. Or does a kick. That's And I thought that was actually in this region. It looks similar in the background colours, I think. But that's about it. I just don't think... Like, obviously, I'm playing a JRPG and not grinding as I go. But I'm just not motivated to do it. I, I, I don't know. It, it hasn't it hasn't hooked on to me like I was hoping it would. I came into this wanting to play a big JRPG. See the nice, fantastically, lovely, saturated colours? And they are there. It's a little bit not as saturated as I was hoping to. I want more of the green fields rather than rock world and sand world. But, you know, it's all it's all whatever. I might play this game more off stream either to grind up or just in my own time slowly to pass time. But I don't think I'm going to stream any more of this game. And I think I'm also going to stop here because I don't want to grind and I don't think people want me to grind. And... Admittedly, it does seem pretty clear that the demand for this game and seeing it isn't really there. Um, I mean, I've played this day one and two now that it's come out, and my streams are a good chunk smaller than they usually are, which isn't really saying much. I'll probably come back to streaming for, like, Luigi's Mansion 3. I imagine that will have a lot more attention. Why is no one else here? Is everyone else dead? Do I need to resurrect them? Let me give it a go with the lack of money I have. We'll see. Though I do like you, Sylvando. You're more interesting than I think all the other characters so far. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's any more for the game to give me at this point. It's been like my basically my first, what, uh, first eight hours of experience. I've put eight hours into this game already. Um, let's see, can I bring four people back? Not one of your characters is in need. They just didn't want to exist today. Okay. Is okay chum yeah it's one of those things where it's like I've played eight hours you know I've, I've given it its chances it's nice it looks nice it's not quite what I was hoping it would be and the game basically wants me to stop so that's what I'm gonna do so thank you for joining me in for two and a half hours into this or two hours and 21 minutes into this five hour stream didn't even make it halfway I apologize game guys that's how the that's how the game goes Oh well. Uh, I don't know when we're next going to be streaming in that case. Uh, the next game I want to play is Luigi's Mansion 3. And that doesn't come out to the end of October. I might just stream occasionally on Saturday. I might not. Now that I'm doing more YouTube things, I might need to build up on that. I don't know. You're new to the genre and it reminds you of Final Fantasy 7 that you used to play back in the game? Is there? I don't know. I will, I will see the rest of your message in a mo. I haven't played Final Fantasy 7. That is another JRPG that I would like to play. It's being remade. And I don't know, I don't know when it's coming out, but I would like to play it. I would, it would be great. I'd love a concept of if I could stream it with someone else. Someone plays the classic 
at the same time that I played the, the remake. Of course, you know, maybe we'll swap every time one of us dies or something, but still, that would be a fun stream concept. I don't have someone else to stream with, nor do I have the abilities to have both on screen. I have Final Fantasy VII, I think, on PC, the original. I got it somewhere, somehow. Maybe it was like a Steam sale, something like that. <laughs> Is there an adult JRPG available somewhere? This one looks childish. Um, any other JRPG? Like, the most adult one I can think of off the top of my head. I'm not a JRPG crazed dude either, honestly. This was my attempt to get into it. And then it, I realized it's not my thing as much. It comes out March 3rd, 2020? Okay, cool. Thanks, Pac-Man crew. We'll probably play that when it comes out. Um, there is Xenoblade Chronicles 2, the only other JRPG game I played. That's a bit more adult, at least in the designs and the concepts. There is, it's more of a darker story. The colors are still nice and bright. It looks nice and beautiful. And the character designs are very adult because people are made out of water balloons in that world or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think that's all from me. We might be on pause to Luigi's Mansion 3. We might be in insurmountably. At the very least, the JRPG marathon format is over. It's the end of September anyway, so it's fine. What was it called? Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I still haven't finished Earthbound. You're right. And that too was one I dropped because it wasn't as investing as I wanted it to be. And the demand was low. People just don't like watching JRPG streams when it's me. Oh well, whatever. We'll see. Um... But no, I think that's all. Is there any final thoughts I have to say? Um, the game's nice. It, and I, I might enjoy it in the site. If I had more free time, I would probably enjoy it myself. I probably wouldn't even play this for my real lifetime. We'll see. I'm a busy man. I'll get up to things. But otherwise, even though that was it, even though we're not, we're changing the JRPG format away, I probably am going to go back to the couch and the lights. I might stick to six hours, and that might still be six to midnight. This is all ideas at the moment. I'll confirm it in a future time. Or I might make it three hours from nine o'clock till midnight. So just three hours later, but half the time. Or I might make it nine o'clock to three o'clock in the morning. Still six hours, but the whole thing three hours later. I don't know. We'll work it out at some point. We'll we'll see what comes next. We'll see what tickles my fancy. And hopefully I'll make more use out of this game off stream because I spent like 50 quid on it. So I could probably do with that. Oh well. Either way, thank you for joining me all the way to this point. I'm going to set up this so that I can actually make it cancel the stream while I'm still sat on the couch. But otherwise, thank you very much for joining us this far. My name's been Daz. You don't really care, and I'll see you in a bit. Hopefully not an entire month. We'll find out. In a bit. Bye-bye.